I don't want to waste your time, so there won't be an intro. As you know, I'm always on the lookout for interesting strategies that I can show you guys. And I think that I found something really intriguing here. I'm talking about the closet extension when defending kids and games on Oregon. Before we get into that though, I quickly want to let you know that if you're watching this video within the first few hours after release, then you can catch me live on stream right now, where I'm probably reviewing yesterday's Broly games. Link is in the description. Back to the closet hold though. If you watch a lot of APEC Pro League, you might already be familiar with it. But if you only watch EU and NA, chances are that you haven't seen this one before. As the name suggests, the idea is to extend your defense into closet and master. Of course, that seems kind of counterintuitive because you're opening up the site. But well, if the attackers can't enter master in the first place, it doesn't really matter if the site is already open. And that is your main objective. You want to lock the attackers out of master. And your main way of achieving that is this shield in the back of trophy. In a way, this shield is kind of a textbook example of the strength of shields. First, it's pretty far away from the attackers, so you can't just get rushed. Second, there are a bunch of different spots to hide ADS and magnets, which makes it really awkward to clear the shield. And third, this awkwardness is even enhanced because everything is so claustrophobic. Attackers are stuck on the balcony and they have to funnel through a single doorway. Then add on to it that there is a closet player having this 90 degree crossfire and, well, you quickly realize that clearing the shield head on is not a lot of fun. But that begs the question, why would you clear the shield head on? And that's a fair one, because you probably shouldn't. Your best bet of clearing a trophy player is to push him from antenna window or armory hallway. Because if the trophy player needs to worry about both master and armory hallway, it's suddenly very difficult to find a playable spot in trophy. But here, the closet player comes to the rescue. If you open feet holes between master and hallway, your closet player can make sure that no one pushes up armory hallway. And that of course frees up the trophy player. Maybe combine this with having another player in games to also watch at angle. And well, that's your setup. Important to note here is that you also have the option of falling back. You don't need to win the round in master. And that's exactly what a lot of teams in APEC end up doing. They waste time, ideally they also waste utility, and then they just fall back. And even though it doesn't really look that way, you can actually somewhat safely reinforce the left closet wall. But that's not really necessary, I think. Chaos, for example, also plays this defense, and they have the rotation hole on the other side where you just can't reinforce it. I don't really like that version too much, because now a potential big window player can cut the closet rotation, but at the very least it shows that you don't need to reinforce closet. In fact, playing this aggressive position close on the breach is probably fine, especially if you have a shotgun or your name is Joe. Alright, so is this chat any good? Is it going to be the new meta in Oregon? Probably not. I don't think it's that great and it's certainly not going to be the new meta. But there are positives to it. First of all, this strat will pretty much always be relevant in the sense that the attackers can't just dodge it. Technically, there is a big win of white stairs take, but it's not that popular. At the moment, 90% of all kids' attacks include taking master control at some point. The second upside of this defense is that it allows you to force gunfights. I think kids is one of the rare bomb sites where there sometimes just aren't any gunfights up until the execute. Look at this secret versus BDS round, for example. Up until the Ying execute, literally nothing happened. So if you are afraid of something like that, you could play a closet extension and that would give you the opportunity to win 1v1 gunfights. Could be something to consider. But I think that the downsides of this strat outweigh the upsides. And the main reason for that is that the attackers don't actually need to clear the shield. Remember how I talked about how the attackers would be better off pushing armory hallway instead and how the closet player kind of prevents that? Well, does he really though? Because I don't think that the closet player is consistently able to prevent attackers from walking up that hallway. He can only use feet holes. And what's also important is that closet isn't exactly safe, especially to pressure from below. It's very easy for attackers to breach the floor below closet and then the setup kind of falls apart. Between master, antenna window and armory hallway, there's just too much pressure on the trophy player. And at the end, it's the defenders that waste utility, not the attackers. At this point though, 
I want to show you how Q confirm is playing this defense, because they kind of have a solution for that. In terms of setup, it's pretty much exactly the same, but unlike the other teams I watched, they are going all in on the strategy by also having Jaeger play an armory. And now it's of course impossible for attackers to use the armory hallway, at least until they killed Jaeger. And I gotta say that I like this version more than the others. Admittedly, I don't have enough experience to know if armory is actually a playable position, but I can imagine quite a few teams struggling trying to get that Jaeger out of there. That being said, I'm still not convinced that this is actually good, because when I said Q-Confirm was going all in, I really meant it. If you have players in armory, trophy, closet and kids, there's going to be a hole somewhere in your defense, and I'm not sure if defending armory is worth giving up either attic or white stairs. At this point, I tried to experiment a bit with maybe leaving one attic wall soft, so your attic player can help out against armory hallway, but I couldn't really find a way of making it work without jeopardizing the trophy position. Maybe there's something in here that I'm not seeing, but yeah, well, I'm not seeing it. Tatanka could be interesting, but I don't really know. Ultimately, the strat is certainly interesting, right? I very much appreciate the creativity, but I don't think it's that great. There's just no consistent way of preventing pressure from armory hallway. That being said, if the attackers don't realize that armory hallway is a weakness, then I can kind of see this working out. And I think that there's a good chance that they might not figure that out. A lot of APEC teams, for example, are still investing utility to clear the shield. And since the strat is not very common at the moment, I can see the same thing happening in EU or NA. And then add on to it that no one has experience with clearing Jaeger out of armory. So I could imagine someone like Shaiko doing tons of damage in that position. All in all, this could definitely be something to keep an eye on, even if only as a pocket strat. Alright, that's it for the video. If you liked it, be sure to check out my stream, link is in the description. Other than that, I hope you learned something new, and thanks for watching.